Hotshot, Jetfire, Vector Prime, Landmine, Scattershot, Optimus Prime. And I'm Optimus Bulba. Welcome everyone back to another Optimus Wilbur Reviews. If you want to make baby Grimlock happy, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and please like the video. 175, so we're close to 180, and that means close to 200. That's the goal I want to try and get before the year end. Can't do it without you guys. Thank you so much. And let's crack on with the video. One of my third party bots showed up, this mini scale um, masterpiece of Bumblebee, uh, again KBB, if you remember they did the miniature Optimus Prime uh, reviewed not long ago, so I was waiting on this figure and as you can see already I've already added spare toy hack stickers which you get, shameless plug for toy hacks but they, they deserve it. You get these if you spend over $15, um, so I got them with God Ginray stickers and they went to good use <laughs> and they just finished this little beetle off um, and it just makes them stand out even more. So I've got another third party bot on its way, it is the Megatron, how I'm going to get round putting the name of it on YouTube, I will never know, but once that day comes, we'll we'll do that day, so, plus, I'm trying to see what I can do for the 100th video, that is coming up really soon, so any suggestion, guys, please leave a comment as well. Okay, down to the nitty gritty and the review, vehicle wise, the vehicle can move really good. There's a lot of clearing space considering the gun is hidden underneath. But apart from that, a lot of clearing space underneath it. Size comparison, cause I was cleaning them yesterday for his upcoming review. Let's bring in Energy on Starscream. And that gives you a rough idea. So the scale is really good. I think this bot would look great next to my MP10 Optimus Prime. Bad thing is, it's in a box sealed. <laughs> so that's the only reason I have not got MP10 out to showcase them next to. But I have seen a third party MP10, um, which is quite small. And I'm considering it. I'm really considering it. I'm loving these third party bots just now. Transformation is very simple and I'm going to quickly do it. It is actually quite unique how they've done this. I don't have any Masterpiece Bumblebee, so if this is similar to the original version, guys, please let me know in the chat. Transforming is really simple, so let's take away his little pistol, which just houses underneath. So it's just like this little square shape, and it just slots right in there. Transformation, just bring up the arms, which will also let you fold out the, the wheels here, split the legs, push them up, come to the back, fold those bits in, fold the wheels down, with the arms, they're on quite a sturdy hinge, so all you want to do is flick them round, straighten up the arm, Pulling down the waist, this will allow you to hide the back wheels, which go in really snug and allow you to bring down the body. Let's clip that bit in, come to the back, fold down the wing, oh, the windows at the back, sorry, not the wing, and put the little back flip down. And there you have it, you have this miniature. Bumblebee, let's get his gun in, and he's called Agent Hornet, Hornet's agent is Bumblebee, he's getting called Bumblebee. Face sculpture is okay if my camera can focus. Oh, 
Looking at the figure in this detail is really good. The only thing I don't like is his gun's quite not completely centred, as you can see, but that's just a small thing that, overall, I'm actually really impressed with this figure. Face sculpture's a bit okay, but I do like the fact they've got metallic paint in for the eyes. The camera can't really pick it up because of the time of day, and for some reason you pay all this money for a camera, and autofocus does not want to work. Posability for the figure and even joints, they're really good. So let's just make sure everything is straight up. As you can see, they're all ball joints. And if we put them down, let's get them into a little pose. And as you can see, you can pose. The bot is that good. I only paid about £12. So you're looking about 15 bucks on eBay, shipping over from China. I'm impressed. I am really impressed with this third party bot. If we bring back in the Optimus Prime from KBB, that's the, the size, roughly. And as you can see now, I've now got the toy hat sticker on it as well. So that's finally finished off. So that gives you a rough idea of the height. And it will look good next to an MP10. It will look fantastic next to it. Quality of the plastic is okay. It's not like Takara level, but it's not like sh like really cheap. It's actually really good, and it's it feels more sturdier than the Hasbro one, which I've got to say the t -t 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 Titans Return Bumblebee. It feels more sturdier than that. The ball joints, yeah. A little bit loose in some, like as you can see, that right leg compared to the left. And the arms seem to be okay. This one's a lot stiffer than that one. But there's not much to complain about when it's such a good figure. And I am really over the moon. I'd recommend this if you like collecting the third party bots. And for the price it is in your after one, just to add to a, uh, like a Bumblebee collection even in your collection, but a Bumblebee collection, you can't say no to this figure. Highly recommend that. And hopefully my next third party bot, Megatron, will come very soon and we'll get that video done as well. I'm also waiting on toy hat stickers to arrive for Overlord. That's going to be a video. And like I said, guys, please, any suggestions for the 100th video of this channel. Um, I want to make it special. Um, and I can't thank you enough as usual. So, Transformer fans, I'll see you next time. Thank you everyone for tuning into the video today. Remember, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and that notification bell, so you know that a new Optimus Wilbur review goes live. Also, be sure to check me out on Facebook, Optimus Wilbur Reviews, Twitter, Rodimus8, and Twitch at Optimus Bulbert 85. Just hit that in the search engine at the top. Also, if you wish to become a Patreon or buy from the merch store, look in the description box below. Lastly, I'd like to thank the Cybertronics 3 for allowing me to use their music, Cybertronic Warrior. It's a theme for the channel. Please check them out on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook and give them the support they deserve. This band is fantastic and do amazing covers, so please send your support to them. And remember Transformer fans, till all are one.